Hello, I am being Frank Kutu. It is Wednesday, 27 December. You can see here I still have my cold. Outside it is not so cold. It's very nice for this time of year. Uh, this is my first day back at work after the Christmas break and I have um, three jobs on my list to do and then go to the office, make sure it is still there after the Christmas break. I don't think there has been anyone in the office in that time. Um, weather looks okay, so I'm looking forward to this. Talk to you later. So, I have taken care of two broken down machines and there was one false alarm, so those were my three jobs for the day, or so I thought. I have spent some time in the office uh, catching up with uh, paperwork, uh, but now we have had a late call, two minutes past three, we have had a call to say that another machine has, uh, has failed, and although we have a cut-off uh, time of three o'clock, I think two minutes past three, I really must go and attend to this. So it is quite far away. Um, unfortunately, the sun has just gone down because it was a really, really sunny day. But um, it's not so bad. And at least it's dry and uh, still bright um, and should be bright for the next half hour. Hopefully I can get to this machine and it will not be in darkness. So we'll see. Oh, one of the good things was before I left the office, I was able to get this from the machine. Um, and I think it is a caramel latte, so I look forward to, uh, to drinking that when I get to my destination. Always remember, don't drink and drive. One of the great things about my job is that it takes me through some of the, uh, the nicest scenery in Scotland. Here we are overlooking one of the lochs, and uh, if I swing around to the other side of the road, this hill is uh, Cornish Hill and people go and walk up this hill. I don't know how far it is to the top, but I imagine the view up there is absolutely incredible. So, good news today is that uh, the company is, I think, winning the contract to look after the new machines for um, charging people's electric vehicles. This comes on the same day as my bad news that my new electric vehicle is not available. I was supposed to collect it today, but uh, there has been some problem and neither the car nor the paperwork is available. So anyway, since I'm here, I thought I would have a look at the charging point uh, just to see how it operates. I have already my uh, charge your car card, which gives access to uh, all the machines in Scotland. Um, the majority of them, if not all of them, are going to be free for now anyway um, and will make a cheap way for charging up the car for, for my use. It seems a little bit contrary that uh, it says plug V is available, but then when you show your card, it wants you to choose one or other of A or B. Surely if it is telling you that plug B is available, when you show the card, it should then only let you use plug V. So I don't really understand that, but it seems quite simple in operation, provided you have the correct connectors. And I must make sure when I collect my car that I have suitable connectors for any machine that I go to. The danger here is that you fill the car with all the different connectors, there's no room for anything else. I think maybe I exaggerate, but we'll see when I collect the car with all the various connectors and I will show you that when it comes. <laughs> 